A teenager is behind bars accused of killing a man during an attempted robbery. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. It's the story all of Omaha is talking about, the jewelry store murder. We're learning more about the 18-year-old accused killer. And tonight, family and friends will honor the victim. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski starts a team coverage. He's live near 72nd and Pacific. Jake? All right, we learned from sources this morning that Dorch was actually taken into questioning and then booked a little later. We just got the official word from police. Now, his mother says that she hopes it isn't her son, but she does know that he may have been going down a bad path. Yellow flowers cover the front door of JR's jewelry and gift, which remained closed Thursday because the owner, 71 year old James Minshult Sr., never returned home from work. Now, police arrested 18 year old Milton Dortch Jr. for murder in the botched robbery turned deadly. In my gut, I said, I hope that's not my son. Milton's mother, Leilani Dorch, says she didn't raise her son to be a criminal and tried to be a positive influence. Police say Dorch went into JR's jewelry to rob the place at 10.30 Wednesday morning. Witnesses say he demanded jewelry and fired three shots hitting Minshall. He later died at the hospital. Who knows where anybody's mind is in these times and days with people in their ear glorifying this life in the streets. But in my wildest dreams, you could not get me to believe that he killed that man. It's just unbelievable. Milton is also accused of pulling off a bank robbery at Bank of the West on 135th and Maple on September 13th. Leilani says she believes her son's friends put him up to these crimes because of how scared he looks in the surveillance photos. And if that was the intent to get money, you did that to throw away your life? It was a measly few thousand was worth it? To satisfy the... the the need of your friends and their wants as well is worth it. Though she doesn't know if her son was behind the senseless murder, she feels sorrow for the Minshall family. That, that was somebody's dad, somebody's grandpa, somebody's brother, somebody's friend. You know, the community loved him. I keep them in my prayers. Definitely keep them in my prayers. Now, Dorch is being held at the Douglas County Jail. It's unclear if he will actually be in court tomorrow or next week. As you can see, a few people starting to gather already for a prayer walk set to start in about half an hour for James Mitchell. Reporting live near 72nd and Jones, Jake Wasikowski, KMTV Action 3 News.